basically first of all we're going to learn that what are magnets okay. so magnets are materials or an object that produces a magnetic field it is an object that has dipoles when I say dipoles which means it has a north and a south right So now, just to explain you a bit, what is a dipole? So you just need to know that it is a region in a material that is polarized. Generally, you know, if you let a magnet be free and you just hang it with maybe tie it, hang it, whatever you want to do, suppose. like this okay so you, you're freely hanging it from some point and it has a north here south here let's make it the way it is so even though it's like uh, you're not applied any force it will try to you know turn and the reason it turns is because A magnet suspended freely begins to move and oscillate. Its north pole gets attracted to magnetic south polarity of the earth so it aligns with earth's geographic north because earth has its own magnetic field you know is it clear now the reason is that we are looking at this is because we want to know what exactly is a magnetic field right so let's write the definition of a magnetic field so magnetic field is basically a region in space where a magnetic pole this right region not writing space what let's not define it to one thing a region where a magnetic pole experiences a force okay. all right
All right, now let's move to uh, the next thing. So, like all the fields, we also have magnetic field strength. And magnetic field strength is also known as magnetic flux density. So both have the same meaning, uh, just different words, right? Okay. So magnetic flux density or magnetic field strength basically is measured, it does not have a particular definition, but it's measured in Tesla, that's capital T, and the symbol we use for magnetic flux density is capital B. Is it uh, all right? Fatma? Always late. It's That's not good. Okay. All right. All right. Fatma, when we used to have class at 6, you were late. Now we have at 6.20, you're late. So it means this is not a time issue. It's just that, you know, okay, we bought time and let's take it. You know? Let's sleep a bit more. Okay, now, so I just want to tell you that, I'm just writing it this way, that why does Earth has a magnetic field? That's the question, right? Because Earth is just Earth, shouldn't have magnetic field, right? it has the reason is that earth's core is made up of molten iron lead etc so about metals right since earth is spinning the moving ions cause current flow and so the magnetic field is created Although the magnetic field is very weak as very small current flows. Everybody understands this? Any question? Please let me know. Symbol for magnetic field strength? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Any questions now? Okay. So then I'm just going to copy my wonderful drawing and you don't really need to draw what I'm doing right now and I'm just you know reminding you for good old days you know when you were in O levels everything was nice and simple so in O levels we studied about ferromagnetic materials these ferromagnetic materials basically are materials 
such as iron, nickel, etc. Okay, that can easily be magnetized. For example, so if you basically place you don't really need to make this okay it's just for me let's explain you this okay so if you put place a cobalt bar in near south so it's ferromagnetic so it's going to get attracted if you place the bar near the uh, north it's going to get attracted because it does not matter which pole is this will just form the other pole it will be induced and then it attracts However, if it's a permanent magnet, which is basically like if you place a north, south, so it will get attracted because opposite attract. But if you place north on the other side, so it will get repelled because um same poles or like poles repel each other okay okay you can write it down but you can't you shouldn't draw anything it's okay when i tell you to draw you draw okay it's not necessary to draw right now okay i need charger to work Please work. Okay, now it's <laughs> all right. So now there are two kinds of magnetic materials. Okay, so one is the soft magnetic material, and the other is the hard magnetic material basically it does not mean you can you know you can just chew the soft ones like a chewing gum that's not what it means it basically means that soft magnetic materials have a temporary nature and they can be easily magnetized and demagnetized so if you bring a magnet close they will magnetize it remove it just just demagnetize so for example iron is one of them and then hard magnetic materials basically have a permanent nature which means they can be they cannot be easily magnetized or demagnetized. You need to do some work on them. And the example is like steel. Is it clear, everybody? Okay, now, the next thing you guys need to know is how does magnetic field basically appear? So, the magnetic field lines 
is the way to depict them, right? So we can say they're just hypothetical lines that depict the path adopted by a unit hypothetical north. And that is the reason when you put a compass, right? The compass always points to the direction of magnetic field lines. Is it clear? You might have done the compass experiment in all levels. Have you? Please don't tell me you don't remember that. Just to put a, uh, on a piece of paper, you used to put a magnet and then compass near the north and wherever it points, you put a dot and then put the compass and join the dots. Remember that or no? Sir, we studied it, but we didn't do it. Okay, but that's sad. I used to do it with my students. They used to make field lines. <laughs> okay, never mind. So, magnetic field lines are generally made like, you know, so you got, suppose, uh, this, no? This app start, it's has started to bug out for some reason. Okay. So I would want, uh, in fact, I'll copy this. Okay, copy. And I'll move here. And uh, let's make one of these here. Okay, they don't draw it right now, please. I just need to place it. Okay, and then I would want okay, copy. Oh no. Just a second, please. Okay, back to work. So I want uh, this gone. This moved here. And uh, this moved here. Okay, now let's make fields. So if it's a solo one, like uh, north and south, so it is going to be like that. North to south. I'm sure you guys have done it like 10,000 times, but not like this. So generally they appear like this. So they basically go in from the south and they go out from the north like this. Okay, so these are the field. And the lines never ever intersect. They are very discrete. Okay. Let's keep it north, south, south, north. Let me write all of these. North, south, south, north. And then let's keep north, south, 
No, it's not. Okay, now this one. For this one, it's going to be like north to south, north to south, north to south, like this. Also, they will attend to the back ones. So always in from the south, out from the north. Like this. And then this one is going to be like like this and like this and then it's going to be like you know okay i made more than i should have let me make a couple of these more so i need uh, one two three four five So they're going to be like this, right? They're going not going to basically attach to anything. The reason is that the, these lines basically repel each other. So if you look at the center, right, where there is nothing right here, this point will have no field and that's the that, that's the null point in the center. Okay. Means no field exists here. Similarly, in this diagram, it's gonna be like north to south and then like this like this it's not going to attract each other's because of course you know they don't like each other at all. And this would actually cause sort of a, there will be two null points formed either in front of each of them. Okay, like that. Where this, my friends, is the null point where no magnetic force acts and magnetic field does not exist. Is it clear everybody? In 10 minutes you got to rejoin. I don't think so you will be but please do if it ends before we are done is it clear everybody any questions okay you guys have drawn this please let me know this writing now this looks like very very okay this is fine okay now I just want you people to write a side note here
Oh my god. In the side note, north and south, I just want to tell you that basically it within the magnetic bar, uh, the magnet, the magnetic fields basically run from north to south. They make one whole loop, okay? So just remember that inside a bar magnet field lines run parallel and are equally spaced indicating a uniform field strength inside and they run from south to north inside the is it clear aman ratika fatma saman yes sir that's good Do you guys remember right hand grip rule? Don't tell me you don't remember right hand grip rule. Please. So what did you say again? Do you guys remember right hand grip rule? Yes. Okay. That's cool. You know where it is from? Like how did somebody really Did somebody just come out of the impression that right hand grip rule works like that? No, sir. <laughs> okay. So, but I don't understand why that person had to make a rule from his hand also. Okay, because it needs to, you know, it's a three D thing. That's why he has to do it. So let's try that. Okay. Let's see what we can do. So there was a famous scientist, you know. His name was uh, Maxwell. So he did Maxwell field strength experiment. Okay, that's what we need to do. So now A two has really started from here. So basically. he put a, a straight wire like this and it was carrying a current i what he noticed was through the compass that the magnetic field was basically going in a clockwise anti clockwise direction and as the magnetic field was like you know there the magnetic field was expanding like this do you guys understand so every circle was bigger than the previous one is it clear like that so he basically realized that as he would go away from the center and say this is the distance r he believed that that magnetic field b is the magnetic field strength is inversely proportional to r 
okay the distance and he proposed that this magnetic field strength is like this right you got to remember that very very important so magnetic field strength has a decay nature what i mean by this is that as we move away from the center field strength decreases circles are concentric which means not equally spaced so they keep on growing okay like that now i just want to tell you this they very important to know that generally the question basically we think is that how are magnetic field fields created right Okay. So what I was saying was that how are magnetic fields really created? So basically, these are two inseparable fields. Okay. So two inseparable fields, electric and. Sir, you're muted. Okay. Sorry. two inseparable fields electric and magnetic interact and that's always happening okay so when there is an electric field there can also be a magnetic field and the reason magnetic field basically appears is that a charge has an electric field as we all know from the previous chapter and before that so when it moves current flows just like it's happening in this one right and a magnetic field is created do you guys understand this please let me know okay please write this down okay If you have a particular question, please let me know. Otherwise, we have to end the class right here. And. Uh